But first up, he is a film, TV, and stage actor who for 30 years has been the show business community's most respected environmentalist for good reason, Ed Begley Jr. Ed? Oh, yeah. How are you? Thank you, buddy. So good to you see look you. look great, Ed. You look... Thank you, thank you. You too. And why wouldn't you? Because... Thank you. <laughs> you treat yourself like the environment, I don't try you? To. Like a temple, I know you do. Well, I'm, I want you to hear today because you, you, we want to talk about bees, and I, I've talked about this on the show before. You have, I know. I know. It, it, it's called colony collapse disorder, isn't that the syndrome where they? Yeah, there's a lot of uh, bees dying, and they were wondering why. They're still not entirely sure why, but it's the death of a thousand cuts. They think there's so many things that are stressing them out: loss of habitat, and another big one, probably the biggest, is, is these neonicotinoids these pesticides that are really hurting it's the not, bees. Now, I, I once was talking on a cell phone, and a bee flew right to it and then dropped dead. <laughs> they thought it was cell towers for a while, and now they're thinking it's not that in the scientific community. It hit the phone and dropped right <laughs> well, dead. I, I just maybe that, think it's anecdotal, maybe. but it does look bad. I, you know... Wh <laughs> Maybe they just had some neonicotinoids. Well, before. okay. Uh, also, I see a lot of bees. This is sad. I see bees walking. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like when yes. I'm lying out in the backyard, I just see... Uh, you never used to see bees walking. You saw a lot of them walking and then falling over in uh, Portland about a year ago at a Target store. And uh, smoking what? gun, if you will, they, uh, thousands and thousands of bees fell onto the ground and eventually died. And they just well, doused... Wait, wait, at a Target store? At a Target store, a parking lot. There was they, some trees... They, sh they shop at Target? <laughs> They were shopping outside Target okay. in the supermarket of the, oh, uh, the trees and what uh, have you, and uh, they had just sprayed the trees with oh. neonicotinoids. Okay, so, so that's what they think. So they think they've narrowed down the culprit to this neonicotinoid. Yeah, that's one of the biggest... Uh, what is that? That's things. a pesticide? It's a pesticide. Okay. Why is that worse than, like, a thousand other pesticides that must have been horrible for none, them? None of them are good for them, but these are very... Uh, <clears throat> they stay a long time. They're quite persistent. They last for a long time. Okay, so um, for, before we get too far into this, I, I want you to explain why bees are important. Not that every animal isn't. I mean, people like you and I who just love animals, we want to save them all just because they're beautiful creatures. But even if you don't have that in your heart for animals, bees have a special place in the ecosystem, right? Yeah, if we didn't have bees, we'd be living on, I guess, corn and barley and wheat. That gets pollinated by wind. We are living on that. Yeah, but we'd be living on that and nothing <laughs> that's, else. That's all America grows, <laughs> is fucking corn. There's a lot of that's, corn syrup. I it? know. That's... High fructose corn syrup. Right. Which is a lot of food, but, but we they wouldn't pollinate. have avocados, we wouldn't have uh, citrus, we wouldn't have lots of plants. Some say 60%, the lowest you know, is 30%. Einstein said if we wipe out the bees, it, we'd, uh, we'd have four years left before we would all die. Uh, I think there's probably some truth to that, and 90% of the... Some truth. Einstein, Ed. I know. You're right. <laughs> Who might argue with Einstein? I'm not a scientist, but I think he's right. Yeah, and 90% of the plants in the natural world are pollinated by these bees and other yeah. pollinators. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're our tiniest farm workers. It's like what we're doing in this era. They are our they tiniest are. farm workers. You're exactly yeah. right. It's like we're... And they're paid about as much. <laughs> they, thank God they're... There's, there's a big victory for the United Farm Workers now. Artie Rodriguez is a dear friend of mine. Cesar Chavez was a friend of mine. Yes. They have a, a bill that's going to help them in the heat a great deal. And so, uh, si se puede to the, Amer the United Farm Workers. Well, so what... <laughs> so, if you were doubting that these neonicotinoids are, are bad and evil, because when I first read about it, I was like, well, Monsanto isn't involved. Until... Yesterday I read Monsanto's trying to buy the company that makes it. So that, you, there's your final proof that it must be totally evil. Because it works so well. Yeah. So what can people do to help the bees? Uh, more natural habitat. Don't use those kinds of chemicals. More uh, natural habitat. Uh, just preserve little strips of, if you can, don't have all kinds of lawns and monoculture. If you have any, uh, oh. if you have any influence on your surroundings as far as plantings, make sure there's lots of native plants. Well, I let part. my grass die. My, Good. Good my, for you. My... Yeah. My... I took a... We're saying that in 2015. No, I did. I mean, I was like, I cannot water a lawn anymore. I just can't do it out here. I, it's yeah, 1988, awful. I took mine out and put and, in drought. And you know what? It looks like shit, and it doesn't change my life at all. No. I've got to, I've got to tell you something. Uh, I don't know how we got it into our heads that we needed a lawn to be happy, but my happiness level, exactly, right here. <laughs> it does not even this much because I don't have a lawn.